Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a set review of set number 60113, the Rally Car. This is a new 2016 set, and I do have to say, even though it's a very small set, it's pretty cool. So as you can tell, this is a LEGO City set. As I mentioned, set number 60113, the Rally Car. It is ages 5 to 12. This set comes with 104 pieces and one LEGO minifigure. So here is the minifigure. As you can see, it's got pretty standard red pants on, and the torso is white but has a red stripe to look like a racing uniform. On it, it says Airborne, which is pretty cool, and it's got this little yellow logo in the bottom corner there. On the back of the figure, it continues with the same sort of printing with a smaller Airborne logo and then a continuation of the logo on the other side. Turning it back around, as you can see, he is wearing a helmet. I'll just take the helmet off. And you can see that he's got the standard yellow head with a nice, you know, smile because he's in a race and some sunglasses to keep the sun out of his eyes. And he has no back printing on his face. Another little accessory this set comes with is this little flag. As you can see, it's got a green base on it and then the flag. Fortunately, unlike some other racing flags, this one's actually made of stickers, which is kind of disappointing. It's not printed, it's stickers. All right, so now showing you the part that you really care about the car. The first thing that mainly attracted my eye to this car is the fact that it's got a black and yellow color scheme. And I'm a huge fan of the black and yellow color scheme. And as you can see, that's a majority of my channel colors and things like that are black and yellow. Starting at the front of the car here, as you can see, it's got these really cool one by one circle tiles that say light on it and it looks like a little evil face. Not really sure what the point of that is, but it is pretty cool. On the bottom there, it does have four other yellow one by one circle tiles for lights and then the ones on the side there. Also as you can see on the front of this car it is number 14 and it has the rally and it continues with the red and the yellow pattern. On the hood of the car here it has the number 14 and the red and yellow rally sticker. Unfortunately this is a sticker and not printing. I really wish there had been more printing in this set other than just all these stickers. Still very cool looking at the front of the car with the yellow and black color scheme. On the first wheel of the car here, as you can see, each wheel is made from white rims and a black tire, obviously. Something really nice that LEGO's starting to get better at doing is they're actually putting the tires underneath the rims. So normally, as you can see in this vehicle, the LEGO tires are a little stuck out, and that's pretty annoying because that's actually illegal. Especially, I don't know about in the States or anything like that, but here in Canada, that is illegal, so I'm glad LEGO's finally adapting to that. And overall, it's got a really nice curved look. It looks very, you know, sleek like a race car. On the side here, it says Expedite Octane with the red Octane logo instead of a white and green one and number 14 Rally again with continuing with the yellow and black color scheme. What's different from the front as the back wheels is the back is all black instead of all yellow like up front which is look pretty cool and again just gives this car the overall really nice look with the black and the yellow colliding. On the very back of the car here as you can see we have the Airborne and the logo there very similar to what's on the minifigure shirt. It's like a tail of the car as you can see it's stuck up and it is adjustable. I can move Move it here and sort of like adjust it the way I want it to look. Looking at the back of the car here, I really love the look of the detail of the mufflers and the brake lights. I just think that looks so cool. I never thought of using these pieces, these Technic pieces, to do a Lego build like this before. So when Lego included in this set, I'm like, wow, that's a really good idea. The only part I don't like is it looks pretty ugly looking at the back plate, the back part of the hood on the car. I don't know what you call that, like the tail or something like that. It just doesn't, it looks very plain and it doesn't complement this part very nicely. So I think Lego could have worked on maybe a different design or something like that for that because this back does look really nice. And I think it would have been really cool if it had Lego included a license plate or something like that or even just another printed tile there in the center because it does look kind of plain but I still really like the look of the detail and things like that. And as you can see this side of the car looks exactly like the other side of the car. One part that I haven't yet mentioned is the roof of the car. So as you can see, it says Expedite up there and it has like a little star logo and it kind of reminds me of the Rockstar drink logo. You just take that off here, easy access for the driver on the inside and then we have these little back parts here that again just contribute to the overall like whoosh, race car look. Looks pretty cool. Some back windows here on this side and then the front window right here. On the inside, as you can see, there's a red steering wheel for the driver and then just a little control panel, to, like a dashboard to let them know, you know, what speed they're going, how many kilometers, things like that. 
And right here, you know, nothing too fancy, not sure why they left these two little gaps out. Maybe for his helmet access, so like it's easy to have, put a minifigure with a helmet in there. Not too sure, but I'm just going to put the minifigure and show you how he looks in there. Time to put the airborne guy in. So like now when you see what it looks like with the helmet, the guy is look relaxed. So you can see like that's why they didn't put two bricks there or he'd be stuck forward like that. Not sure why, maybe in case you put a backpack or anything on your minifigure, they left that those studs at the bottom there empty. You know what I mean? And I'm just gonna put the expedite roof piece back on. And there you go, like the car is complete. It's a very cool car and for a $12 here in Canada set, I think it's an overall great price. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really did hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like me to do more LEGO set reviews or if you'd just like me to kind of say screw reviews and do some better or different kind of LEGO videos. I anticipate your response. Thanks everybody so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed.